Hey everyone, so I just came out of the Awaken Your Inner Coach Approach one day workshop led by Ian McDermott, a very well known coaching expert for many, many years. And I've heard a lot about Ian uh, over the past couple of months, and uh, I was already very intrigued about his approach. But this is the first time I got to participate in a live Zoom workshop that he was doing. And uh, I just came out of it like 30 minutes ago. It finished 30, 30 minutes ago. It was a whole day session uh, from afternoon to evening, about six hours, including the break. And uh, since I still have that fresh perspective, fresh, impre fresh impression, I wanted to just put it on record and let you know what I think uh, about the workshop, what I think about Ian's approach, um, how I feel after that whole experience, uh, you know, whether I would recommend it to you. <laughs> and uh, also at the very end of the video, I will also share uh, some of the more uh, lines in, in, in how this workshop affects my own journey, which this channel is more or less about. But let's start with the workshop. So uh, let me start by saying it was really damn good. And it's not like I had a lot of workshops with uh, coaching or, or neuro-linguistic program. Uh, I've read a lot about it. I met coaches, spoke, spoken with them. Uh, these days I'm receiving coaching therapy pretty much weekly for the past couple months now. Uh, so it's a familiar field, um, uh, and I've been to various other workshops and this and that, so I do, I guess I, what I want to say is I do have what to compare it with, and it's definitely beyond regular standards in my experience, uh, really top-notch. Ian, as an individual, as a coach, you know, not that I'm an expert and I, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I, I can tell you who is good and, <laughs> and who's not, uh, but just uh, being myself a uh, professional instructor for, for, for a number of years, speaking with coaches and instructors of different fields, uh, it's just so evident that, that Ian is really good. He knows what he's doing and he has that humility which comes from that knowledge and experience and wisdom which is beyond the regular wisdom. You know, there's no, I will prove to you what I know or I will try to convince you. You know, that's kind of like low, low tier game but but Ian is at that level where it's just so natural for him that that whatever he's saying just just comes out of him naturally and and you can see you know he knows what he's talking about and uh, and whatever he's offering is is pure refined gold so I, I was really impressed. Uh, another interesting aspect of the workshop was that there there was quite a bit of back and forth, which was uh, in a way was almost surprising to me. Uh, but in a very good way. Uh, there were 70 free participants to begin with, including the, this, this couple of people from the staff and Ian himself, so around 70 people. Uh, and Ian was always open for questions. He encouraged questions. He encouraged self-reflection, sharing, and we also went to groups, uh, you know, to kind of, I, I don't remember how that's, breakout rooms. Yeah, that's, that's probably the name, where we had, where we were, presented a subject that we discussed and you know initially uh, I, I've been to some workshops where that doesn't necessarily work you know you, you end up being with people and let's say you know one person just keeps on talking and talking off subject and eventually you come back and you're like why did we do this but that did not happen this time and uh, I'm not I can't say whether that was because uh, probably a lot of people who are were participating uh, either are coaches or interested in, in the approach. So so every pretty much every group that I had been a part of were good listeners and and they offered some brilliant insights themselves. So so that really felt like it de deepened the experience and even my own self. Um, I, I I shared some things where I was like, oh, you know, this really helps me digest whatever was presented. It, it helps me come deeper. And then we would reflect all together back with Ian and he would give some insights. So it really felt like a very productive uh, and efficient uh, kind of approach, which again, I was pleasantly surprised. The material itself, it's it was definitely something I was very interested in already from the get-go. So that may make me a bit biased in that way because I was just intrigued about it already. Uh, but I, I just personally, in general, in general, I believe that the material that was presented is really valuable for for anyone. Um, the the whole concept of the inner coach, um, it's it's the the idea behind it. I wasn't beforehand. Nobody presented it to me 
like years ago, I, I didn't bump into someone, you know, specifically saying inner coach. Uh, but when I learned about the definition of it, so basically it's the, the intuition, uh, the subconscious supporting you and, and giving you information. Uh, I realized that really is a close subject to me, but, and, and I know from personal experience that is such a huge game changer. There's so many insights and discoveries I've made through exploring whatever is in, in my subconscious. And I, part of my journey uh, experience, I did neglect that aspect for a little bit lately and I'm getting back to it again. And again, I'm just at all how much it can give. But then you need tools. You need to understand, it's, it's important to understand how it works. And, and Ian did such a great job of, first of all, presenting and explaining what the inner coach is, how that works, and also continuing to give specific tools in, in a very kind of non-intrusive way, just, just kind of presenting the, the environment, presenting the landscape where it wasn't, it wasn't dry in, in an aspect of, okay, so the tool A is this, the tool B is this, but it was very organic, very natural, which was very pleasant to, to be a part of that conversation, to hear about it in that way. But it also felt like you're definitely taking something away which you can use. It wasn't just a list of items that you listen to and uh, and the next day you forget but it felt like things which uh you can actually employ and use and take away with you so 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 that's definitely a very positive experience uh, the most powerful moment for me most likely was also um i wasn't hesitant about raising my virtual hand and and uh, chipping in my my thoughts especially when i see that you know People, other people are at certain times maybe hesitant or, or they're still thinking. I was like, oh, I have an idea, you know, I'm passionate about this. So I shared a number of times and uh, I didn't expect any sort of feedback from it. But there's one point where I shared something which is related very much to my journey. If you're following the journey, if you've seen some of the last few videos, you probably know what I'm talking about. And that's, I shared about the dilemma uh, encouraged to talk about this, that, that type of subject, uh, the dilemma of reading versus exploring. Uh, and uh, because these days I'm super passionate about, uh, I'm, I'm yearning again, uh, I'm in that yearning state again where I want to know more, I want to learn more, I want to understand how things work, and I want to just kind of level myself up. And my initial instinct was to go to read more books. Um, it, but then that's kind of neglecting the aspect which was presented for the workshop and that is that there is the inner coach where you can discover uh amazing and, and profound things within yourself uh which some of you will never find in books it's much more personal and uh, while ian himself was very very clear to make the point that okay books are great he, he made a great point you know he wrote a number of books himself and he loves books and in the background of him talking there were a bunch of books so there's nothing bad about books but but we were we started focusing on the that personal journey that personal exploration aspect and uh, it's still fresh so i can't like really put it on paper but what i want to share is that whatever he shared and uh, and we, we basically just seemed like a quick uh, coaching uh, situation between ian and myself uh where everybody was watching you know and and you know that doesn't bother me uh, but but we were talking one-on-one -on -one and, and I would express how I feel, what I think. And he was like, you know, let's dig into this. And he shared a number of things and it was like, damn, man, was that the right thing to tell me and for me to hear? It was really profound. And it was basically just, in my words, the way I exp I'd, I'd express it, uh, that basically stating that the journey can be... I, I, okay, well, to, to put a step back, I, I told Ian that I'm very much in the pursuit of offering value to others. And, and that's at the moment I'm considering, you know, what's, what's more valuable reading books and expanding my knowledge or exploring myself. What, what's that ratio? That was my active contemplation. And, and he presented really beautifully the, 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 the understanding or the insight that already by sharing my process, that's also giving, which is kind of what this channel is about. So that was really inspiring for me. That really touched me. And he was so spot on by uh, giving the example 
of uh, Frodo from The Lord of the Rings, which uh, is basically kind of the hero's journey, and I'm a big fan of hero's journey. I, I love movies in general, so I could definitely relate with it. And he spoke about, you know, the Fellowship of the Rings, if you know the context there, they're, they're in the meeting and, and deciding who will bring the ring and arguing, and then Frodo comes up and says, well, you know, I, I don't have, you know, I, I uh, he, he presents himself as a humble uh, person and a hobbit, and uh, and that kind of crew that kind of creates the respect out of everyone and and the belief and faith that oh actually you know what you know he, yeah that he's he's the right person and it's and he I think what Ian stressed is that Frodo at that moment he says I don't know how but I, I have faith you know I will do this and people trust his process and then people decide to follow him and 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 support him and that's kind of the way of giving so again my 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 vocabulary here is a bit rusty because i'm still kind of digesting that information but but my point is he really put it beautifully the 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 essence of that the journey is worth sharing as well and the the sincerity the the modesty the way you do it and and the honest and sincere exploration maybe as valuable as anything else. And, and that was just so spot on for me. So thank you for that. Ian, if you're watching, <laughs> just in any case. But yeah, coming back to the workshop, uh, I feel like I wanted to share this story as well, just to show you how impactful this workshop was to me. And I, I f I'm sure it was impactful to others as well. It was interactive. It, it offered a lot of wonderful knowledge and, and also a really technical thing I noticed myself personally or I considered is, you know, when you just listen and listen and listen is for six hours in, uh, more or less in a row, it may become difficult to keep your focus. But then every time I would feel like I'm, I'm having difficulty to keep that focus on, uh, then uh, Ian uh, would say, okay, well, now let's break Let's, let's make the break rooms or you know now let's let's give people some uh, some chance to chip in and share ask questions and that dynamic really made it more more give it a more of a sense of flow to the whole uh, workshop so so the six hours was i think it's six hours i'm pretty sure it is yeah so it was ideal it was the, the ideal amount by the end of it i felt like especially with that personal feedback i've got i felt like whoo okay I'm done. I'm good. You know, this is like, this was just enough. Um, so yeah, I hope that my emotions and my, my, my review of this gives you a better sense of what you can expect from the workshop and, and give you a sense, you know, how I feel after it. So, uh, so, so maybe you, you have a glimpse of, okay, huh, maybe I want to feel like that too. And, and then, you know, go and try it out. Uh, from what I understand, if I understood this correctly, this is the first time this workshop, specific workshop, this format was done, although Ian has written a book, um, The Inner Coach, which is out there, from what I understand, for years now. But if I understood, and I may be wrong, but if I understood correctly, this is the first time this this this, this workshop particularly was presented through Zoom. Also in regards to the COVID situation, many people are in lockdown, people have time with themselves, and this is kind of a, a brilliant way to inspire people to realize, oh, there's so much actually you can discover just by being on your own by understanding how your subconscious communicates both uh, you know both intuitively for the for the level of the mind and also it was really nice because the somatic aspect was touched as well how our subconscious is expressed through the body and that gives us hints and, and how to read that information so just so much good stuff which i won't be able to put it out all on record but i hope again i'm getting you a good impression of how it works just to be sure, nobody's paying me to say positive things about that. Uh, uh, but uh, but I am um, now subscribed, I guess, or enlisted in the uh, Master the Coach approach, which is an eight-month course by the same organization, the ITS, which I, I believe Ian is the leader of. Uh, and so so I am developing a personal relationship with ITS, but this is my very first touch, and I'm already in love with it really interested where everything else will continue to go but just in case you're also interested in that whole aspect of the inner coach of of understanding your intuition of being able to understand or have a better relationship and communication with your subconscious um this is definitely a course you you, you should check out so i'll leave the links below
you know, highly recommend it. And the very last few words, yeah, for my regular subscribers, viewers, uh, I, I think I actually kind of communicated everything I wanted to say to you directly through what I said. That has been an impactful conversation with, with Ian and it made me reflect about the things which I am exploring together with you. This is the first meeting we had. This is the first contact we had. And I'm planning, I'm, continue, I'm going to continue to learn from him and his uh, whole uh, instructors group uh, through that course. And I will definitely share more, whatever comes up. Uh, but let me know what you think, you know, what's what's your impression? This is the very first time I'm doing a review of a workshop on my channel and video. Let me know what you think, any feedback from me. Uh, but yeah, I enjoy the workshop a lot and it's nice to share with you how it went. So I'm going to be looking forward to hear now from you. So thank you for watching as always and I'll see you next time.